It's watch the river flow time. Actually found a bit of current. One of my favorite things to do with a video camera is get moving water in a current zone. And you can see over there, there's kind of a cut, some erosion thing. Uh, not too far beyond that dense thicket of low swamp is the railroad line to New York and various other places. We found a sit log, which is an important ritual in all of these excursions. And this heads back towards the highway, which is diminishing somewhat along this kind of levee bankish thing. Here's yet another little vernal stream crossing that we've worked out. And I have a feeling that we're not all that far. higher when I was here last April 7th or whatever. Oh, that sounds like a raptor of some kind. Oh my. Yeah. That could be a, a hawk's nest, too. Maybe a squirrel, but it's something big. Yeah, this is a pretty active little multi-bird species spot with this whole collision of habitats and ecotones. That's our way back to 128, which one can hear whooshing in the distance. This 
this is our way forward to an access road. <clears throat> I keep saying we can't be that far. And of course, eventually I'll be right. Just like a broken clock is a couple times a day. about how close we are to the crossroad and keep failing to actually get to it but nonetheless here we are in a nice spot this would be perfect for train watching if you were to do such a thing another one of the train watching and nature locations that I've found <laughs> train spotting in the UK as my friend observes but yes here's the Neponset in all its glory Blackbird watching over it. Uh, let's see, we'll convey a little bit of this for a second. Several species of butterflies have been observed. I managed to get a photo of one of them, but missed the other two. There's the big gorgeous morning cloaks, some kind of coppery thing, and then there's the silver blue thing, and another riparian outlet stream. Yeah, this one's totally dried up. tree coupling. Oh, what's that? Flicker? Thank you. It's a flicker, I think. Yes. Continuing we go. Been a lot of helicopter activity today. There goes a robin. Ah, the road! Yeah! Oh, baby! We found the road! There's the rolling the poncet, and at last we have affected our juncture with the spot where I was not long ago, April 7th. And yeah, the water is a bit lower than it was then. This is kind of a canoe launch, and it's kind of a cross-country thing, but it is a little remote, so I've got this section, but what we plan to do today, among other things, is 
is go down that other side of this crossroads and see where it ends up because that's a, said to be one of the projected tie-ins to the rest of the Great Blue Hill system. So here I am, almost two weeks later. Spring's a little bit more sprung. Um, my friend and I just got through following the bank of the river for probably about a mile and a half, almost two miles, down to where it meets 128. And our car is way the heck down there. We're gonna go another route back but this part I've got covered so we'll can the camera for a bit on that and what I'll be doing is going up that other mystery crossroads segment which we think will take us to a web of cross-country ski trails that are part of Blue Hill. reference to cross-country skiing. A warning that don't ski here, you'll end up in the drink thing or something. But this is a great trail. I highly recommend it. Although it'll probably be mosquito hell soon. This is one of those gifts of the season. It's 70 degrees out, but it's only like April 22nd or something, April 21st, whatever. I'm fuzzy on these things. And so spring is in its earlier phase, and yet it's like it's July. But there's no mosquitoes because they haven't hatched yet. Weird or what, this is a magical time to be out. And the ticks seem to be at bay as well. 